Today we're going to use Scrivener and Sotero to create um, citations and a bi bibliography. To do this, um, you just need to find first uh, find out where you want to insert a citation, like here. And I yours use Command Y to open Sotero. That's Control Y on uh, Windows and uh, you have to set it up inside Scrivener to open Sotero as your bibliography software. Inside Sotero, Sotero I use Command, Shift and A. Uh, that's Control, Shift, A to create a citation. And I return back to Scrivener where I paste in the citation and uh, I mark it. I go to the inspector panel down here to the comments and footnotes and insert. A footnote. A footnote. These footnotes to be re recognized by Zotero, you have to change the parenthesis to uh, a bracket or like a curly brace. I mean, like this, and also on, at the beginning. This is the format from uh, you know from LaTeX for using uh, citations. I'll add uh, another one. Uh, over here, uh, that's this one. And oops, that didn't seem to go correctly. Hmm. One more time. There. And again, mark it, add a footnote, change the, to the curly braces. And thus, now we're finished with our document. I'm saving it. I also created a blank page at the end of the document. This one has to be at the last part of your document, regardless of... Uh, how you're going to use it later, you can rearrange it in the RTF uh, file at the end. And I also had a space, I also put one single space inside here and put a style. If I don't do that, the heading style will be used uh, on all the on, in the bibliography entries. After you've done this, we assemble, we uh, compile this, which is uh, command alt e echo. Uh, that's Control Alt Echo on Windows, and uh, here you see we just keep all the things. Remember to change to rich text here; it will default to print. So rich text and compile. You're asked to choose a name. I've already chosen it to be blank, and now I go back to Sotero, where under Tools you'll find. Uh, Sooner or later, you'll find RTF scan, which is the tool needed. We will scan the same document and it will be output as scanned. The same name, but with scanned in parentheses before the extension. And you see immediately that it has linked uh, those two. And I'm going to use the APA uh, uh, citation style. And let's continue. It's finished scanning, and now we can open up the Finder or Explorer if you're on Windows. New window, and here we have the scanned one. I double click, and here you see multilingual web websites. Here is the APA style uh, thing. There is no footnote, no footnote, and here at the end. Is the bibliography using the proper style. I hope this was helpful.